2017, 64-year-old former accountant and a realtor, Stephen Paddock, checks into his rented condo complex in downtown Las Vegas at the same time the Life is Beautiful music festival is ongoing. During his stay, he had made several trips to his home in Miss Ethan, Nevada, 74 miles northeast of Las Vegas, each time returning to the hotel with more bags. He later reserved an adjoining suite, which would be used for something nobody would see coming. During the time of his stay, he would do what any regular um, uh, hotel uh, renter would do um, until the day of Sunday, October 1st, between October 1st. between 2.23 p.m. and 9.40 p.m., he closes the door to both his suites and is last seen walking through the lobby at the front entrance of the hotel. Meanwhile, country star Jason Aldean begins his set as the final music or musical act of the festival when he's interrupted by something that at first sounds like firecrackers with, and within seconds, people begin to dip and cover. In less than a minute, more than a thousand, hundred round, rounds rained down on the crowd. Padlock has smashed two, two windows of his suite on the 32nd floor with a hammer and then opened fire at the 22,000 concert goers below. Panicked concert goers fled the 911 dispatch center with calls. Officers dispatched to the hotel arrived armed and ready to enter Paddock's room at 10.55 p.m., but are told to wait until SWAT arrives. 24 minutes after SWAT arrives, they bust into Paddock's room. The suite was littered with more than a thousand spent gun shell castings castings and an arsenal of weapons. In total, police seized 24 uh, guns including AR-15s and AR-10s assault rifles with arm-piercing bullets. Some of the weapons had been altered to with bump stocks devices to make them simulate machine guns. It was the worst mass shooting in modern American history and one of the many mass shootings that had happened in the U.S. As many mass shootings have had tragic results of multiple victims and have had significant deteriorating effects on the health of people who witness them, who live, those who live in the communities surrounding them, and those who identify with the demographic group targeted. According to the latest available statistic from the Center of Diseases Control and Prevention, more Americans have died of gun-related injuries in 2021 than in any other year on record. That includes records of gun murder and suicide. According to another analysis from a Pew Research Center survey conducted in April and June of 2021, 4 in 10 adults report that there is a gun in their household. The root causes for gun violence are, are income, income inequality, poverty, underfunded public housing, under resource, resource public services, underperforming schools, lack of opportunity and perception of happiness, and easy access to firearms. In 2022, gun violence statistics, the founder of K-12 school shooting database said 22 has broken the record for the most school shootings in over four decades, with more than 600 children, 6,000 children killed and hurt by gunfire. Also stating gun fire, gun, gun ar firearms, firearms are now the number one cause of death in children in the U.S., exceeding motor vehicle deaths. So, what can we do to prevent gun violence in the U.S.? According to an article in the 2022, uh, in 2022 Attorney General Rob bon Benson, gun violence remains a growing threat to public safety throughout the nation. On average, 110 gun deaths each day and over nearly and nearly 41,000 each year in the US. A few things we could do, we can do to prevent gun violence in the US are learn what the gun laws are in each state, learn what type of provisions states can place to prevent gun violence, ban assault weapons and large capacity ammunition magazines and ban bump stocks. There has been decades 
the decade of debates over whether gun laws are, are strict enough and what else can be done to reduce such violent acts from occurring. But enough is enough.